Hello, I'm Chris Hewitt and welcome to this very special Prometheus live chat here exclusively on Yahoo Movies. Now, you've been bombarding us with questions about this eagerly anticipated movie. And I'm delighted to say I'm joined by five people who can provide some answers. I've got the stars of Prometheus from my left, Logan Marshall Green, Michael Fassbender, Numi Rapaz, Guy Pearce, and of course the director of Prometheus, Sir Ridley Scott. Now, Sir Ridley will be coming to you in a second, but if we can ask the actors, first of all, to tell us a bit about their characters, who you are and who you play, starting with you, Logan, and then going down the group. I play Charlie Holloway, mm -hmm. and I am part of a team with Mr. Rapaz here, and uh, I kind of represent the science in the team, and uh, I like to base everything off that. That's okay. me. Yeah. Uh, Michael, who do you play? I play David, who is a, a robot, humanoid, android, whatever you want to call it, mm -hmm. um, and he's basically there to uh, facilitate the crew and the ship and make sure that the, the ship gets to its destination and all the crew get through cryostasis and then he is uh, there to, uh, as I say, facilitate them on their mission once they arrive. With a very different look in the movie. To yes, have today. he's bearded, red <laughs> beard and, uh, and the hair as is. No, I'm going for a blonde look uh, blonde. with David, yeah, we're going for the peroxide uh, <laughs> look, which... Um, which was fun. Blondes yeah. do have more fun. Blonde robots is have more true? fun than dark-haired robots. Okay, I, can tell I should you that try much. it. <laughs> Science has proven that's true. And, uh, and Numi, who do you play in this one? It's a decision to believe, but it's also a decision not to believe. I mean, Charlie represents the other side of that spectrum. Yeah, I, I, obviously he follows what he knows and bases everything on fact and, um, and, and science. And, and I think that's the beauty of the script, is that you have an element of science and an element of faith driven towards this point mm -hmm. out in space. Um, and there's, I, both are tossed asunder. You know, both, it's a major car crash. Uh, <laughs> I think, you know, and it, it sounds... Come to you now. Um, is Prometheus set entirely in space? That's right. <laughs> no. Uh, it, it begins on planet Earth. Mm -hmm. And, but quickly, um, Moves out into space. <laughs> <laughs> Being very cryptic uh, there. Yeah, uh, I think the the nice part about it is that planet Earth is kind of always though um, in the background. Mm -hmm. um, uh, our origins are always uh, we're always in orbit, if you will. Uh, the movie is always in orbit of planet Earth. Yes. Um, even though we're showing that there's more out there, um, there's it's it's essential to the movie. Um, what are you saying? Our home? <laughs> I'm not giving away the ending to me. I'm sorry. I'm not doing it. I'm giving no, away everything today. <laughs> no, no spoilers in this one. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're doing it. <laughs> and uh, Logan, how was your experience? It wasn't manipulative, was it? Uh, okay? uh, it was everything that's already been said. And, um, you know, bes besides Ridley knowing exactly what he wants, which is all I care about from a director, he also, it, it, like Guy said, it, it felt um, intimate um, on the indie sets that are larger than soccer pitches. Mm. Um, you were, they were cleared, and it was just you and Rid on a, on a kind of a human level, what the scene needs, what he thinks it needs, and, and then of course, wafting you in a great way um, towards choices. And, um, and just, I, you know, I got the chance to watch Ridley um, paint the frame okay. a few times, which I just think is a remarkable thing that I had never been exposed to, to watch a, a master look at four screens at once, four cameras in Video Village, and literally paint these frames. With 3D glasses. With 3D glasses on. <laughs> and still be available, which I think is also what has been said, so available to all of the actors. Yeah. It was very um, difficult to take Ridley seriously, though, when he left the 3D glasses on <laughs> and walked away from Video Village to come and give you a direction, and you'd be thinking, how do I look to him right now? Well, well, yeah, exactly. <laughs> and also, can you, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? You've got to put the headphones on. We all were all linked up Jeez. on microphones inside our helmets. Okay. So it's like Ridley was sort of yeah. like... Can you turn Michael Ridley down walk? in my ear? Michael's <laughs> really loud in my ears. <laughs> Tendency to sing. Uh, you've mentioned it was the. Fun. Uh, Obviously, it was fun. Mm. Oh, it sounds. Like, really, you had a wry smile on your face all through that. Do you, do you see? You had a wry smile on your face all through all through these uh, tributes. That's me. Do you oh. see this as manipulation? What you do? Um, now, the film was largely shot in London at Pinewood, and the world premiere is in London tomorrow night. So, for all of you, do you have any particular memories or favourite characteristics about London and, and what it was like shooting here? I'll start with you, Logan. 
Expensive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. And I'm from yeah. New York. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Expensive. Really expensive. Um, but I loved that film. We had an incredible spring last year, and um, and and an incredible wedding. <laughs> And um, it was it was great. I mean, I, I think London is one of the greatest cities in the world. I really mean that. And I fell in. I didn't understand that until last year. That's why it's in. expensive. And that's why. <laughs> Love is expensive. Michael, you're an honorary Londoner.